We're here at 500 Startups, and the first company that we're going to see is Spinnaker, which helps, uh, well, companies like Rackspace or Procter & Gamble do customized marketing messages, which really increases uh, conversion. So who are you? Okay, so I'm Adam Bonifield. I'm one of the co-founders of Spinnaker. Um, my background is actually mostly in political engagement, and I ran digital strategy for political campaigns and figured out all these strategies to raise money effectively. Now we're bringing that to the business world and trying to do the same thing for every website on the planet. And that, that's why you care so much about conversion. I, I didn't know that. Um, oh, yeah. Tell me about what your product does and why why we need to do the, these customized messages to people. Yeah, so um, the way we think about the world is that there's all this big data out there, that analytics are getting smarter and better and more real time. And it's kind of embarrassing that they're not used at all to power most of the things that we do in life. They're used for ad tech targeting and that's about it online. Um, and our theory is that they should be used to power everything, that every website should unlock all this data that we already know about visitors and use them to present targeted calls to action to get those visitors to buy your product or click through or sign up for your newsletter or to do whatever you want them to do. Because our thesis is different visitors are different. If you came there and you're, you, know, you speak another language, you're a very different person than somebody who came there looking for a job or looking to invest in your company or looking to buy your product. Those people are all insanely different people and they need to be targeted in different ways. So our simple thesis is that the website should work that way. It should have simple calls to action that target those individual visitors differently and use that to triple the likelihood that they convert. How does your technology work? Okay, so it all starts with a really simple JavaScript code. So the same thing that powers Google Analytics goes on your website and it's just, you know, a one-click install or if you have WordPress then it's just, you know, click it and install it on WordPress. And from that point, we just start analyzing your traffic. You don't do anything. You don't have to go configure something. You don't have to worry about, you know, what your analytics actually looks like because a lot of people don't like don't even want to start that process themselves. Yeah. But what we do is we start looking at it ourselves and, and do it programmatically and start making insights about the types of visitors you have. So we might say, okay, well, your user agents um, of, of a lot of the browsers that hit your website are in Spanish. So that means you have a lot of Spanish speakers coming to your website. And if, you know, if we know that about your website, we can tell you that and we can automatically translate portions of your website into those people's language and show it only to those people. Or we could start saying, okay, you're getting these traffic spikes from these specific blog posts about you or these news stories you didn't even know you had. And we could alert you to those things and say, you should probably write a message specifically for those people. Um, a lot of the time, maybe you wouldn't want to do it because whatever the messaging on your site has normally is good. But sometimes it'll be really, really important to respond to news, um, news stories about you. For us, when we had our TechCrunch article come out, the fact that we were able to let our companies respond to the fact that, you know, 500 startups is announcing them and making a reference to their inclusion in 500 startups increased the people's time on site from that TechCrunch article from 30 seconds to over five minutes. So, you know, instead of just going through a list and being like, yeah, heard of that company, heard of that company, heard of that company, now they could say, you know, check out our blog post about our inclusion in 500 startups and start reading about us and make it far more likely the person stays on site. So you can think of a thousand different ways that you might want to target people in individual ways. And we figure those out and let the user, you know, respond to it. Does this happen automatically or, or as a site, like if I ran Rackspace.com, yeah. uh, some of my users are coming in looking for jobs, some are looking for technical information, some are looking to buy our service, right? Yeah. And those are very different kinds of users. One's an existing customer, one's an, a potential new customer, and one's somebody who knows about us but wants to work for us, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, and you don't necessarily have that much insight into how to identify those people or even detect them. Um, but we do, and we could sort of programmatically discover the things that all those people have in common. So those job seekers, they'll all be spending time on your jobs page. And we could detect that and say, okay, you have a lot of job seekers. The way it works is we sort of send you an email. And so we say, okay, we've discovered a lot of job seekers coming to your website do you want to forward them to a jobs page? And all you have to do is respond to that email and it will deploy automatically to your site. And you know you can customize how it looks or where it appears and things like that. But you don't have to if you don't want to. It's sort of an automatic way for you to increase your conversions without having to worry about how to configure all this targeting stuff. So let's say uh, somebody was looking at my jobs page one day 
and then four days later they come back to the website. Yeah. Now what do they see? Use it, if I use your technology, if I use Spinnaker. Yeah. What, so what do now, they see? so now they'll see a pitch to apply for the job that they looked at but maybe forgot about and never got around to applying to. It's the same kind of philosophy that drives ad retargeting. That when you go to a website and you don't buy something, they'll probably follow you around the internet and target you again and again on every other page. But then when you come back to the actual pages they're trying to get you to, they stop targeting you, which we think is ridiculous. We think the same philosophy that powers ad technology should power all technology for websites and should make internal calls to action work the same way that you know ads work because how, they're very effective at getting you to click. How far can this go? Because um, you know, if, 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 for instance, I click on Dave McClure's Facebook page and he tells me to go to Spinnaker, right. can you then put a customized message, hey, we know you're a friend of Dave McClure's? Right, exactly. I mean, yes. can it get that, that granular? Yes, and, and the referral link is usually the, the place that it all starts. So we know if you're coming from a certain place, you've got a certain context that you're looking at the page from. It's like you say, if you're coming via monster.com or you're coming via you know, Facebook or you're coming you know, maybe to Rackspace via a promotion that you shared via email, all those people have a very, very different context and set of expectations for what they're getting from your site. And we let you target each of them in different ways. How, how do you charge for this? Or how, how do I pay you for this? Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's simple. We have a SaaS-based model, so you pay $50 a month if you're a small, you know, small business and up to 350 if you're a, a sort of larger, medium-sized business. Um, but actually, to start using it, it's free. Um, yeah. And you, know, you, you can get all the value that I just described in the product without paying a dime for it. Um, and you know, obviously, we think we can provide tons and tons of value, but what I've described to you is a totally free offering. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about 500 Startups. Uh, you had your demo day, what, a week ago? or th There were several demo days in New York yeah, yeah, yeah. and here. What's happening now? Did you get flooded by investors, and is that yeah. sort of the process? Yeah, well, so we're in sort of uh, the fortunate position of having, to, having raised most of our round before demo day. So we had about half a million dollars in, in the bank before demo day and really didn't want to take that much more money. Um, and so for like the first time in our entrepreneurial career, we could genuinely say we're oversubscribed and frustrated by the fact that we're oversubscribed because we've got a lot of great investors that we want to include and yet you know, also believe that we can start making a lot of money really quickly. And so you know, we're, we're eager to increase the valuation of our company even more and prove more and more value and traction um, before taking more. So we've, so we've sort of started taking on the process of you know, taking a few additional investors on top of the 500 we raised and, um, and plan to close up shop and open offices and grow. It, since you're talking to people who are going to apply to the 500 startups or try yeah. to get into this, or any incubator, there's Techstars, there's Y Combinator. Yeah. What's your? Do you have any advice to those people? You know, I would say talk to me or talk to any of the classmates here. I was a little bit disappointed that all of my friends who are so jealous that we're part of this great incubator program never actually hit me up and said, you know, help me get into the program. Um, the best way into 500 startups is to talk to somebody who already went through the program and get a referral off of them and convince them that your idea is really great and they could point you know point the way a lot better than someone on the um, you know selection committee or, or even an, an advisor or mentor at 500 startups can yeah. um, that's sort of the secret sauce like find somebody at 500 and they will help you get into 500 yeah these incubator pro programs really help you prepare for the demo day right that, that's the goal is to pitch to the press pitch to the in you know the 300 investors that come and see you guys yeah stuff I, like that I think that that's what people definitely <coughs> see of the programs um, and their sort of most obvious benefit because you walk into demo day and see all these really polished presentations but actually that's not the big advantage of doing the program the big advantage is that at least at 500 is that they help you a lot with sales distribution and getting a funnel working where you could say take somebody off the internet who knows nothing about you and step by step convert them from somebody who's interested to you know a customer to sort of a long time you know um, brand advocate on your behalf and you know they're they're amazing at, at using data and analytics to drive distribution and that's sort of what we see as their giant value add very cool. Where do we learn more about you? So it's spinnaker.com, S-P-I-N-N-A-K-R.com. And no chances e. are. It's spelled yeah. a little uniquely. No E, right. And, um, and chances are when you show up, you probably will be targeted. Um, so All you right. can sort of see the product in action. Very cool. Or just like, you know, look at your favorite website and, and at, at some point in the near future, we'll probably have some, some kind of messaging on it. Very um, cool. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Rob. Great. Goodbye.